Hello guys, Hatred Elemental back once again with Draco Soda's here. <laughs> you want to see a bear dance? I know I do. Well, well, Spyro. Look what I have here. It's a life-size space monkey action figure, complete with a fully operational laser. I'd love to let him out so you can play with him, but the sorceress seems to think he's a menace. Thirteen hundred? You don't want to free him? Oh, what's the matter, little dragon? Are you just jealous that no one has ever made an action figure out of you? <gasps> you take that back, bear! Actually, they're working on that. Still, you take that back, bear! Well, well, Spyro. Well, well, shut up and release him! You've always had a weakness for helping silly little creatures, haven't you, Spyro? Oh, well, I suppose there couldn't be any harm in letting him out. Could there? What? Is the joke with the achievement? It wasn't a joke. I was just looking at his face. Oh. In the achievement. Ah. <coughs> Woohoo! Ha ha! Thanks, Spyro. Ooh, say, you ever see a bear dance? <laughs> uh, no? Well, it's your lucky day. Check this out. Quick <laughs> <laughs> dancer, isn't he? Not much stamina, though. Too bad I had a lot more ammo left. <laughs> Anyway, I heard all about how you've been fighting the sorceress and her armies and kicking all that butt, and I just wanted to say, huzzah, yippee, woohoo! Wish you could stay, but my homeworld's been overrun by Rhinox since I've been captured. If you happen to see the sorceress, tell her I'll be giving her dancing lessons real soon. Know what I mean? You bet. Later! <laughs> this boom! <laughs> I love this guy! Anyway, onward to Agent Knight's lab! <laughs> That's enough for now. I think both of our vocal cords could use a break. <coughs> <coughs> That's salsa music, though. <laughs> what was that? Did you see a Rhinoc? I thought I saw a Rhinoc. Ooh, take it from me, Spyro. Never spend a week in a cage. Mm -hmm. Next thing you know, your whole island will be knee-deep in Rhinox. Well, gotta go. Mr. Laser Blaster and I have a whole lot of work to do. Hmm. They made that bit of dialogue a lot calmer by comparison. Hmm. Ah, Agent Nine, my favorite pupil. Welcome back to my island laboratory. I'm afraid Rhinox have taken over the entire island. Could you stop them before they destroy all my research? Nice to see you again, Professor. Missed ya. Oh. What the hell? Poof. It'll be just like old times. Try shooting these dummies to get warmed up, but to uh, be careful. I think a Rhinoc might be hiding amongst them. <laughs> oh, this is where we have to destroy the ch the trees for a skill point. I see you back there. Touchy? Mm hmm Very touchy. The fodder animals are beakers. Of course. Poof. Ah. How's he control? Decently. A 
vast number of <coughs> Rhinox are waiting to ambush us as soon as I lower this force field. I expect they'll keep coming until you shoot the red panic button next to the door where they emerge. Can't move. Can't move in first person mode. Time to go Star Wars on this. Hi. There's another door at the end of this beach, and Rhinox will keep coming out until you shoot the red panic button. Work your way up the beach by dodging and using the natural cover on the right side. All right, let's go. Oh, hi. Nice. Looks like he's a lot easier to control now. What do I know? This screen looks good. Bye. Gimme, gimme, gimme. Good to know that the aiming is accurate. <coughs> this is the professor's laboratory. He isn't originally from Avalar. Huh. These indicators show that a bunch of Rhinox are hiding behind the display screen. I'll switch on the view pedestal, and you shoot them as they attack. I recommend using your sniper mode. Touchy. They were touching the original too. Oh. Faint. You cleared them out. Let's see what kind of shape the machine room is in. I have a feeling the Rhinox haven't been keeping it too clean. The professor's voice actor is brilliant. Sounds pretty much just like the original. Might be the same one. Yeah. It's Tom Kenny. Oh, I forgot Tom Kenny did the voice of the professor. Just as I thought, the machine room is overrun with birds. <coughs> to target the birds in their nests, you'll want to use sniper mode. Then zoom in for pinpoint accuracy. It's always the birds, man. Sniper mode is legitimately a sniper, a sniper mode. Right in your stupid little face! Damn it! Damn it! Oh, I see you back there. Can you do it? Nope. Nice shoot! Nice work, Agent Nine. Uh, I'm not sure if this is a bird egg or dragon egg. Uh, what do you think? Beulah. Looks like a bird to me. <laughs> now I can switch the gravitonometric generator back on. I hope no birds got in here. <coughs> well, you see. Birds. Nice. Oh, hi. Oh, 
Try shooting What's him in up? his face. Oh. Eh. <laughs> Alright, halfway there. Nice. Oh, I forgot the shots bounce around. Yeah. There's one back there. Nice. The lab's clear, and it smells better in here already. Uh, follow me outside, where I expect we'll find some rhinocs wearing armor. You'll need a more powerful weapon to defeat them. Teleporting moles. Of course. This is perfectly logical. Agent 9 is a weird character, but I like him. Oh yeah, there's no doubt in my mind that he's absolutely amazing. But, uh... I don't know what my opinion is on him is yet. By my calculations, the bombs in this handy vending machine should be highly effective against armor. Give it a shot. You have bombs in a vending machine? Oh, they bounce. They do now. Nice. Son, ook, ook. Thank you very much for saving my laboratory. Now I can resume thinking. Uh, you're welcome, Rowan. rest of our bombs what are you looking at idle animations ah <laughs> he looks good oh yeah he does interesting to know he's a lefty <clears throat> Took any damage. No? Yeah, nope. You need to shoot over it with the bombs. Any right? More ideas? Like over the wall. Thank <laughs> you. 
Just having a good time. They're Rhinox. We hate Rhinox, remember? <clears throat> yeah, but the Rhinox are just trying to have a good time. Dude. It's so hard now to they're having now they're getting swimming lessons. It's so hard to tell where the shots are. There you go. Ooh! Tony! Tony! Nice landing, pal. Alright, now, let's bomb these trees. Yes, blip, blip, blip. Oh. Wait a little bit. Oh, wait, no, that wasn't the last gem. There's a chest back here, too. So try aiming down. play the game the way I play it, okay? Skill point acquired. Still got the skill point. What? The end. <clears throat> Maybe there's a floating jar or something. Never know when Rhinox might come out of the air. I mean, I'm pretty sure they have parachutes, right? Your Agent 9 voice is actually pretty good. Well, thank you. Yep, floating jar. Floating jars, plural. hard to detect the floating jars when you're busy sniping Rhinox. Yeah. Oh, duh. The chest! That's what? All. More! Aha! Yeah! Someone set us up the bomb! And that should be it. 100% level complete. And might as well throw them. You did a good job. Thank you. Oh. Peace!
Nice. And look at that. Our cash went up. Yeah, but technically we're... <sighs> Money back still took a lot of it. <laughs> and I hate him because of it. But we're gonna be getting it back soon. Soon-ish. Alright, so I know what you're thinking. We're probably going to be going after the Sorceress now, right? Well, like Ripto, we're going to do the backtracking extravaganza first. So, let's go back to the homeworld. Let's go back to, uh... Nah, he didn't appear on the bridge yet. Let's go back to... What's Sunrise it called? Spring. Sunrise Spring. Thank you. Wait. Uh, yeah, let's just go to Sunrise Spring. They gave us this rocket. I intend to use it. Entering Sunrise Spring World. Something tells me we have a lot of cleanup to do here. Starting all the way back in Sunny Villa. Oh, right, the Sheila challenge. You know, it probably would have been smart to go after the second, the secondary characters before the other levels. Ah, who cares? Oh, I forgot. We're here. So, uh, let's go back to the beginning. And we'll end the episode there. Ba -ba 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 -ba. God, that song ah. is so nostalgic. Yeah, we'll end it here. So with that, this is Hatred Elemental and Draco Sodazer signing out. We hope that you guys enjoyed, and we will see you again next time, where we will be beginning the, the backtracking, backtracking extravaganza. extravaganza. Goodbye, guys. Thanks for watching.